St. Augustine pulls into the parking lot here. Nah, they hopped out and all, twin. Suspects jump out of the car. All four of them. All. With a Drake and all. Arm. No, it's that's crazy. Remember the police right at the spot. Cause that nigga telling for they got the drop. My wrist in the ball and I stop with my clock. Then young nigga pushing, they finna get popped. And my daddy told me nigga stay out the block, but the nigga don't need fucking cuss in the spot. So my brother asked me if I'm in it or not. Well, you know I'ma ride a world hot for my spot. I put down the pencil, let me to the flock. I was smoking, I'm flocking, touching on the mop. And you know I'ma rob him if he up or not. Young nigga to stand in front of the cop. Me and money be lurking, twisting off the top. When you start getting money, niggas on your cock. With a real trap vibe, just came out the slot. Long list snap, my nigga done got shot. Ain't no nigga. What's good, YouTube? This is boy Cash Out Fable, and I'm back with another reaction. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another. You feel me, bro? Y'all told me to react to Dallas Scoreboard, man. Hey, salute to Dallas Scoreboard. Bro. You feel me? If you from Dallas and shit, bro, they came across this vid, bro. Recommend some music, fam. You feel me? Recommend some music and shit. And if I should do more Dallas drill reactions or Dallas Scoreboard reactions, comment down below. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, y'all boys, spend my W's in the chat. W reaction, we're going crazy straight to it. But hey, we got the most active hoods in Dallas. You feel me? I never been to Dallas, fam. I've been to Houston, but I never been to Dallas. Yo, please subscribe. To I ain't gonna lie, here. Dallas got like the hoes and shit. To like, the channel. Some real it helps shit. us they reach a wider audience blah, blah, blah. and shows your supports. Also, follow my Instagram at Dallas Scoreboard. He not talking in this bit. Be watching and slow rich on God. Who? Who? Sleep. That's what y'all dollar stores look like in Dallas, bro. Nah, that shit look different from the dollar store in, in, in Florida, fam. Like, that shit look crazy. What the hell? But look at the dollar store. That bitch say dollar plus store discount. Like, they basically like the corner store, bit, but they be the oldies hell to him. Like, what the hell? This what this shit look like for real? This y'all dollar stores, like, for real type shit, like, we got these, we got these type of stores in Florida, fam, but we don't call that bit the dollar store, you feel me? You call it like you the drama, you know I'm go, what the fuck is a llama? Forest Lane, or the Nine, is a neighborhood located in North Dallas, made famous by late rapper Mo3. This is one of Dallas's most known hoods. These days, Forest Lane is associated with crime, due to the numerous teenage gangs terrorizing the community. Groups such as SOS and YTS claim this hood and have been documented robberies caught on camera in this area. Where he at, bro? Just took this nigga down. Bought some shoes. Sweet. Bro, he got robbed and he let the nigga record him and shit. If a nigga record me and he... Bro, I'm not letting no nigga rob me, bro. That's fast. You feel me? If you let a nigga rob you... It was just a bitch, fam. Like you could've, you could've ran a full flat, or you could've ran a full flat. And not even that, the nigga took your pole. Yo, yo, you scared to use your pole, fam? They don't got like self defense in. Um, they got self defense in, in Dallas. I know they got self defense in Dallas, fam. Look at all the blitz they be having. Just took this nigga down. Open carry. Awesome shoe, sweet. Sweet ass nigga. Took him down, nigga, on my mama, nigga. Yo. He ain't doing nothing. Murders have become a staple in the Damn, reputation bro. of Forest Lane. Over the years, this is one area you shouldn't play at. Man from behind killing him. The scene played out in a business parking lot in Northeast Dallas on Forest Lane near I-635. Police hope releasing this video will lead them to Jamarian Turner's killer. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has this week's track down. At approximately 6.30 p.m., the victim, Jamarian Turner, was hanging out here in this parking lot. He was approached by three males while he was hanging out. He had known these males and had past issues with these guys. They engaged in an argument, and during that argument, a fourth male stood behind this fence, waited for his opportunity, and shot the complainant multiple times. We have video from the shopping center here that shows the argument, but does not show our suspect. Yeah, he got his uh, pop, this man. cell phone video does. We had a witness who was recording the incident and was able to provide that to us. The shooters in the black shirt and gray shorts. 
This, a still image of him from that cell phone video. The picture I show you is him holding onto the fence here. You can see in his pocket he has a bulge that looks like he had a gun. The witnesses said that is the same suspect, pulled out a gun, shot six or seven times. Victim was standing about in grassy area here when he, he walks back, he gets shot multiple times and he crawls to the front of the apartment complex. He never knew that somebody was getting ready to open fire on him. Had no idea. This was middle of the daytime. This was an assassination. He had no idea that he was about to lose his life. The Richland Trace apartment. And he was lacking, fam. What niggas be doing this over there? There's a be... notable hot. What niggas be doing to get their ass popped like that, fam? Spot of the hood. Like. Uh, I don't know what to I get merged. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, not a uh. regular rapper. BFL or Better for Less is a notorious hood in Oakliff and is essentially the heart of the cliff due to the presence of groups like Channel for terrorizing the community with their different beasts with groups such as YTA. For EP and 5K, Channel for however is by far the most demonic group to come out of this section, as stated in the beginning of this channel. They hail from the treacherous Prince Hall apartment complex, now known as Paseo Apartments. Buddy had dumped that drink, and nobody got hit. Is a whole lot of shooters hop out in the seat. Watch it, ain't got saved by the grace of a sweet. Get the low and pull up, make sure something hit. Plea. A 18 year old man who was fatally shot and killed at a Kimball basketball game in 2020 is from this area. He ran with a group called OTB. Outside the elementary school he attended, let it shine, let it shine. dozens gathered to remember 18 year old Mark Strickland. Because I don't want to see this no more. I'm tired. <laughs> Last week at this Kimball South Oak Cliff basketball game, they were shooting it. Bruh, ain't no way, fam. Bruh. Y'all getting shootouts during a basketball game, fam? Niggas getting their ass clapped during a basketball game, fam? Nah, ain't no way, bruh. Bruh, niggas is doing this hot ass shit at a basketball game, bruh. Like, what the hell, bro? Niggas don't care, fam. Niggas don't care. You can't even do that in Florida, fam. Oh, cow. Last week at this Kimball South Oak Cliff basketball game, <laughs> police say a 15 year old shot Mark three times in the chest, in the spine, and in the head. And the bullet that hit his head, it damaged everything in his head. His mom, Monique, made the difficult decision to pull her son from life support just one day ago. I'm not holding up, sir. I'm not. It's hard. It's hard to lose your only son, have to bury your only son. <laughs> With a broken heart, she is frustrated. They should have had him off the drill. Frustrated that the school didn't have metal detectors. It was a lot of failure in the system. I've been working security for five years, and I always protect the community that come to my job. Knowing they can't change what happened, his sisters want you to know this. My brother was a sweet and innocent kid. No matter what, he was going to always be there for you. That's why so many people are here for him. You just look around and you see everybody that's here, man. This is like, man. This is love. And on this Sunday, as friends and family came together, they spoke of Mark's life. Now, nah, this shit's sad, fam. So, Channel 4 did this shit. He was out there. That shit crazy. He lived. A great kid. Nigga, only 15 years old. Y'all niggas be 15 and shit, bro. Like, what the hell? And that is what they will remember. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas be 15. In Dallas. Two, three. I'm Alex Rosen. Nigga in fake views and think they poppin'. I ain't never paid for no promo. If rap don't work, I'm back to stick shit up, sound shit with a veto. Except for mother, we all walking in with a tuck. He bitch. 6 5 or 6 5 Grove Side is an extremely aggressive hood. In the Pleasant Grove neighborhood of Dallas. This neighborhood has made a grueling name for itself over the years as pure bullies, murders, kick doors, and drug are synonymous with the history of this hectic side of the grove. This side of the city has always had an issue with Oakliff for reasons that are not known. 6-5 is the home of many dangerous sets. 
including no hospital gang, OTS and PCU with all three of them being at war with each other. Sending shots as well as disses in their music. This hood should absolutely be avoided at all costs. With confirmed killers roaming the area like it's nothing. MBG murder. Local OTS psychopath and confirmed killer Yakuza is from this area, as well as Fuli, who was recently released on a murder charge. Nah, nigga this be is a, a murder place charge? Where you don't talk to people you don't know. What? Or it could easily end your life. We went to school in middle school. Bro, you said Josh? No, Ducky I said we B. went to school in middle school. You said Josh and Ducky P? <laughs> oh. Damn, bro. Bro, he got his ass stuck, fam. Like, bro, like the nigga hit one tapped his ass. The nigga one tapped his ass, fam. Like, the nigga flew. He talking about, yeah, I went to middle school with bro. Bro, I got on black forces and shit. I ain't even, like, I'm not even gonna cap, bro. I don't know why he hit, bro. Like, why he hit him like that, twin? They don't, like, they don't, they really don't fuck with that man. Nigga hit a random ass nigga, fam, like. No, Ducky. see. Hey, hey, this is exactly why you don't talk to, like, bro, don't talk to niggas, bro, like, on God. Don't, don't be a like, friendly ass nigga, fam. Don't be just talking to niggas and like that, bro, like. I ain't gonna cap. In, in real life, fam, I don't, I don't even talk for real, bro, like. I really be on, I really be in my own world type shit. I be doing my own shit, but, like. If you a goofy and you doing this, fam, don't, don't do this shit. You're going to look like this goofy right here with the black forces on. You feel me? We went to school in middle school. We went to school in middle school. Just because bro went to school with him in middle school, he got his ass stuck, fam. That's sad. Hey, that's a WP. Oh. Right, look, he stuck that. Oh, my God. He stuck that, boy, though. Hey, boy. Uh, damn. <laughs> bro, if a nigga hit me like that on God, cause he Gen 5 going to meet you, boy. Gen 5 gonna meet you. That's when Gen, Gen 5 gonna come out. I'm a what? Cause ain't no way you let a nigga hit you. You ain't do nothing, fam. Bro, don't ever. Hey, y'all boys, don't ever let a nigga hit you, bro. Oh, God, don't let a nigga hit you in your shit, bro. Don't ever let a nigga just hit you in your shit and, and you don't do nothing back. If you don't do nothing back, you a straight bitch. You gonna look like this nigga right here. So oh, like, fuck. God, yeah. Hey now. They laughing at him. <laughs> the doctor eyes trying to goddamn me. <laughs> Cuddy, a known killer and member of the group for 48, was shot and killed Three? December 2023 when four masked men jumped out on him and an innocent man, taking both of their lives. And opened fire at a Pleasant Grove strip center. One of the victims was the intended target. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has the images of the four shooters in this week's. Four Smackdown. shooters. We're in a strip center at 9595 Sain and South St. Augustine, December 27th. Listen to this, 9.15 in the morning, a double murder here in this strip mall. Detective, who were your victims? So my two victims were Jamarcus Irving and Moreland Smith. Moreland had actually just walked up. He was going to get some donuts um, here from this coffee shop. So sees Jamarcus. They know each other. They start having a, a, just a brief conversation. And then what happens? So at that point, a red Nissan Sentra comes oh. up. Nah, fam, he was lacking bad. Southbound on St. Augustine. Pulls into the parking lot here. Nah, they hopped out and all, twin. Suspects jump out of the car. All four of them. What a Drake and all. Armed. Nah, He's that's crazy. In the middle of the gunfire, Moreland is, you know, just real close by to DeMarcus. For the niggas out there, for all the tough niggas out there that try to act tough, and you think you tough on the internet, fam. You gonna run into some niggas that's really about that for real. Like niggas gonna hop out on your ass with a Drake and O. Nigga done hopped out with a Drake and O. Nigga done hopped out with a with a little 50 round right here, fam. And, and, and O, fam. He probably got a switch on that bit. You feel me? Look. They was ready to you feel me. Marcus. In the middle of the gunfire, Moreland is, 
you know, just real close by to Demarcus, so they both get struck with gunfire. So he's an innocent victim. In, in, from all accounts, innocent bystander um, was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. All four of the suspects get back into the vehicle, the red Nissan Sentra, and they take off outside of this exit, just out, just on the other side of this blue pickup truck, and they take off going westbound on Syene Road. But mm. somebody knows what happened up here, right? Yeah, so somebody knows. The, the, the clothing, the height and weight, you know, the, these guys, they look like they're late teens, early 20s. Um, their shoes might even be a giveaway. The, the shoes, the clothing. Boy, they slid in Jordans and all, boy. I would have slid in some forces. Um, what, three of them were wearing dark clothing, and then... Uh, but that shit's sad, though, no cap. It's got a very distinct uh, black hoodie sweatshirt with some stars on, on the shoulders and um, some lettering on, on the front part, but it's black and white. The other one, the fourth one, is wearing all gray, and that's the one with the uh, the, the Draco style, uh, AK-47 style machine gun. There was no regard for for anyone in these businesses, and it was early in the morning, so some of these businesses were open, some of them were not. Uh, but as you can see from, from Damn, the plan, nigga, they don't there, lit that whole shit up, man. The businesses. So just if you heard anything, please reach out to me. How you so? Can, you can reach out to me at 214-671-3605 uh, or at my email address. It's Fernando. Get Fernando Silva on his phone. I had to skip it, man. You better shake the fuck up, cause you know you stay. Turn the nigga at running on mission and down on lease. Hell, nah, they ain't shooters for real. Hey, I catch a hop up in person. I'm swinging that dough. Get the fuck up out the heat, nigga. Thought I was sweet. He tried to re-rock a nigga. Highland Hills is by far the most feared and respected hood in the cliff. It is widely believed to be the first hood to claim oh, they got a chicken and fish from Oak Cliff. I gotta go signifying there. Signifying the mentality. I gotta go there. They got a chicken and fish little restaurant. I gotta go there. I don't, I don't even care if it's the hood for real. I'm, I gotta go there. I'm trying to eat some good food, man. Sets such as ATM. Oh, 5K and BTE are known to torment their ops throughout this section and vice versa. However, the Crips at ATM is notorious from terrorizing their enemies. That come through the surrounding apartments, which are basically the heart of Highland Hills. Being gang affiliated isn't enough in this hood. Simply wearing the wrong thing can lead you down the wrong path. Which is exactly what happened to 20-year-old Montreal Hudson who was shot and killed in the Pink's apartments due to him walking around with a ski mask on December 2023. 18-year-old Nequatia Jacobs was in her room with her two younger sisters when shots would come through their upstairs window, injuring her sister and sadly taking her life. This would be a case of mistaken identity as former ATM member. Jeremy had a dispute with her father days prior over drugs and money he owed to her father. Jeremy didn't like the conversation and came back for revenge, but unfortunately he got the wrong people. 18-year-old woman is dead. Her 16-year-old sister seriously hurt. This is after they were shot looking out of the window of their Dallas apartment. As police now try to find the gunman people in that apartment, told our Yona Gavino they're worried for their safety. Somebody shot through the window! Neighbors are on edge tonight as investigators try. I never heard of an apartment drive by. This is like the first apartment drive by like I seen, bro. Try to catch a killer. Nigga, a dumbass crash dummy too. He a dumbass jit car. What the hell? Y'all just, just don't even. Jits in Dallas just get the blowing car on God. Niggas just get the blowing out of that motherfucker, twin. Something would happen to her. That shit remind me. Hey, hey, that shit remind me of my state too. In Florida, fam. Cup. Niggas would. Bro, I ain't gonna cap. Niggas would do the same shit out here too, cuz. A nigga would dead ass do a, a apartment drive that drive by too. You feel me? They finna do a drive by on an apartment building, twin. It's really shocking me right now. Like. Police say 18 year old Nicolicia oh Jacobs. Bro, I killed a female too. He just. And her 16 year old weird. sister heard a disturbance outside and went to their window. That's when someone sprayed bullets through their apartment. I heard the gunshots. And I heard the, them kids up there screaming. I knew it was, I knew it was right here. It's sad though because they just moved to her probably like not a month a ago. A month ago. Eric Collins took a month ago. Oh my God. Cell phone what? video. We sleep and sit by the window like every day and. Here at 4 o'clock, a man is behind bars for the February death of an 18 year old Dallas girl. Police say 19 year old Jeremy Moore. Why he's smiling in his mugshot, though, twin? Shot into an apartment window near Highland Hills Drive, killing Nequasia Jacobs and injuring her 16 year old sister. Police say they connected Warren to the scene through his car, a white Dodge Charger that was caught on surveillance video. They say a former inmate confirmed Warren was the suspect on surveillance footage. Warren was already in police custody for unrelated charges. 
Damn. The high mart is very dangerous hotspot in the hills. Due to the fact that it's hey, guys, nice to right next too. to the surrounding apartments. So members circulate through here, and it leaves room for their enemies to pop up as well. Hey, B, oh my mama, we just caught a 6K nigga at the store. Nigga in the car with his daddy put his head down. Nigga on bro, nigga. They lucky them coppers right there. Nigga on bro, nigga. Damn. Caught a 6K nigga at the store in the car with his daddy. Made a nigga put his head down. Quit playing. This will conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, sure Yeah, niggas be going out bad out there, boy. Niggas be really scared, boy. Niggas be going out there bad, bro. Real shit, but hey. Y'all niggas stay out the way and shit, bro. Like, don't even, like, the street shit is not, you feel me? As y'all can see, bro, this street shit not cool, twin. Like, niggas will hop out on you in a drink, fam. This not the UK either, fam. Niggas gonna hop out on you with, with, with they fine shit, twin. Like, you feel me? Just stay out the way and get some money, fam. You feel me? Keep, keep you some hoes on the side. Get right, twin. Keep grinding, you feel me? But, hey, cash cool, we lit. BJ with the wild. Cash out, able cashing out, man. Roll the 10K subs. We're going crazy. I appreciate all the love and support. G shit, fam. We're going dumb.